So um, I'm going to keep one of these saplings, the furthest one away from the neighbour's house because they're amazing. They're like a wisteria. They've got beautiful white flowers on and they smell amazing. But the thorns on them on the tree are lethal. But I would like to keep one of them. Maybe this one. It's probably about five foot five meters from his house. because um, I don't want it too near this Judas tree. So I think that's the one. And then we've got all these broken tiles in the grass here. But my strimmer only lasts about 15 minutes charge, so I can't do any more. But I've done all this down here. This is what I'm struggling with in the grass. The tiles that have dropped off. But, um... Yeah, they're a bit precarious, some of the tiles up here.
Okay, so what are we doing today? Well, today, as we do twice a week, we are uploading our vlog, latest vlog. And we've come to San Veron, our nearest village, because they happen to have a great mask. Mast. Mast. <laughs> Not a mask. <laughs> no, mast. <laughs> <laughs> and if we upload these vlogs at home, it takes about anything from four to eight hours. Uh, but when we come to San Veron, it takes about 15 minutes. So it's much easier to do that. And uh, the signal's very good at Toir as well. So we go up to Toir sometimes if we're doing shopping and we'll combine it. So uh, we, we come up here anyway because we normally have to drop parcels off. Yeah. And maybe go in the supermarket here yes. or on our way to Toir. And that is now uploaded. And it's called Up on the Roof. But most of you will have seen it by the time you see this vlog. Yeah, <laughs> it gets a bit confusing. Anyway, we've parked as close as we can to this mast and the signal was very good today. So it was 14 minutes. Perfect. That's done. <laughs> it's been a miserable couple of days here. It really has. Just non-stop rain. Um, I'll give you an update on these two tiles that we found. Uh, we've known about them for quite a long time, but we um, showed you them about three or four episodes ago, maybe. Well, thanks to one or two of you, uh, we've been able to piece together some information on them. And uh, Nicole, who you'll recall, uh, sent us those tulips. She also sent us a photo of the factory where these tiles were made. And I'll put that on screen for you now. And basically, uh, it's a company called Leon de Smet. They're based in um, uh, Lille, uh, up in the northwest of France. And we believe that the factory opened or was operating there from 1879. Uh, we believe these tiles were made between 1900 and 1910, or there thereabouts. And they are encaustic tiles and they're basically made of cement and the process for making them you'd have a mold of the one color and then a mold of the of the other color so we've got the terracotta and the cream and cement would be poured into them uh, colored where necessary and then pressed together and then baked at high temperature and that's how they're made um, we don't we still don't know why we've got these two tiles they're the only two with this pattern that we've found i did find online um, somebody selling some of this pattern um, but they were gray not the terracotta and they came out of a cathedral in the north of france um, but basically that's all we know about them i i did find online um, a letterhead uh, from the company so i'll put that on the screen for you as well so yeah, it's all very interesting. And one or two of you suggested um, making a trivet. Um, so enclosing it in a wooden frame and then being able to place hot pans, etc. on. And we, we'd love to recreate them and we probably will. Whether we incorporate these two with the recreated ones, I don't know. Um, or whether we keep these separate and do something else with them, such as a trivet. Um, we've still got all of that to think about. But um, they're lovely tiles, we really love the pattern, and it kind of goes with this place. So, um, yeah, so just thought we'd give you that little update. Uh, it's always very interesting what you can find online these days, because in the past, you know, probably would have had to go to libraries and specialist companies to, have, to find the information. But these days, it's all there at the end of a button. So, but anyway, there you go, those, those tiles. And if you missed that episode, I'll uh, put a link underneath. Yeah. Hello everyone. I'm sitting in the car on my own and I'm in Poitiers. And, <laughs> and for those of you who have been with us for any length of time, you'll understand what that means. Um, I'm waiting for Susie while she has some medical stuff done at, uh, uh, Poitiers Hospital 
And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, uh, if you are new viewers, um, I always refer everybody back to episode 10 for Cobble Hunters, and everybody, everything's explained during that episode. Um, so Susie's having a quarterly scan, and um, it will be followed up next week with the results of the consultation. Uh, we're not anticipating any problem, but, uh, you know, Susie's been going from strength to strength, but, um, you know, we'll wait and see, but we're we're pretty positive about it all. Not as nervous as we were last time. And so, anyway, whilst I'm in my waiting time at Poitiers, I tend to go off and do stuff, and I've filmed most of the sites of Poitiers in various uh, vlogs, and I'll leave some... Um, links to those and especially the um, Church of Notre Dame uh, that was always well received actually uh, we we still get comments about that and I put some music to it and a compilation of all that and um, you might want to watch that if you haven't so I'll leave the link to that in the description below as well uh, but I'm kind of running out of places to film in Poitiers but there is a park that I've wanted to visit and it's a beautiful park but I was going to go there today, but I don't know whether you can tell from the window here, but it's really wet day today and quite windy. And, it, you know, on balance, it's early March. It's probably not the best time to see it at its best. So I'm going to give it a miss and I'm just going to go shopping, unfortunately, um, in the supermarket. I'm, I'm in the car park here outside the supermarket. And I won't take you in there because, man, in the supermarket, it's all rather, you know, boring. So, yeah, so that's where I am. That's what I'm doing. And Susie's having a scan and she'll give me a bell in about an hour and a half, hour and three quarters to say she's finished. Uh, but instead of rushing home, as we always do, we're actually going to go visit somebody in the hospital. Uh, she's a young lady from the village um, who's become a family friend. Her family have become friends. And she had a rather bad accident at work um, recently. And so we're going to go and visit her. Um, she's going to be in hospital for quite some time, sadly. Um, but everybody's hopeful that she'll make a full recovery, but it's just time. So we're going to go and see her, and then we'll probably pop in again next week when we're here. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today um, on this rather wet and miserable day. Hospitals. <sighs> Is that enough of them? Hmm. So we're on our way home, everything's done, we've visited our friend, had my scan, you've had your scan, and had a baguette. <laughs> yeah, God, teeth, the French must have really strong teeth because I really struggled chewing the bread, but not only that I've broken some teeth because of my chemo, um, so, yeah it's a bit of a struggle chewing them, but um, yeah the weather's it's not raining, but it's not very pleasant, is it? No, it's not Again. Not pleasant day, but there you go. Uh, it's been a bit of a long one. It's, what, six hours we've been on the go now? By the time we get home, six, seven. Yeah, we had to leave early because we didn't think we were going to get any fuel, did we? No, all the petrol stations were had run out yesterday because they're, they're, they're protesting about the pensions over here. And there's various strikes going on, so uh, there so was no fuel yesterday. I didn't sleep last night because... I think we had enough to get here, but not enough to get home. Yeah. <coughs> but we found some. Yeah. So that's okay. <laughs> I think I was more worried about that than having the scan. <laughs> yeah, we've done it enough times, haven't we, the scan? Yeah. Anyway, it's a little bit shorter this week. Uh, it's one of those weeks, a bit disrupted, but uh, hopefully uh, it's okay. <laughs> So we'll see you next time. Next time, yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Chantez.